Hi, good morning, everybody. September 9th. Happy Wednesday. Uh, it's good to be with you again. Uh, let's go ahead and begin our day together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, reparation of sin, and the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the apostles of prayer, and in particular for the intentions of our Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we celebrate another wonderful saint. We celebrate Saint Peter Claver. Uh, he was born in Spain and studied under the Jesuits. Uh, he was a missionary to South America, where he ministered to people sold into slavery. And so he showed us that every person is a brother or sister, and we must love them as God loves us. And so uh, just what a wonderful reminder for us that every single human being um, has, that, has that value because they're made in the image and likeness of God, and so deserves, um, deserves that respect and deserves that love. So uh, a wonderful example from St. Peter Claver. And so today, uh, St. Peter Claver, pray for us. And here's our fact of the day. Thanks to 3D printing technology, NASA can essentially email tools to the International Space Station. The process used to take months and have to put the tools on a shuttle and send it up to the space station, but now it can happen in a matter of hours. And so they can make fixes and, and develop parts um, within hours. So wonderful blessings of technology. And here's our joke of the day. Guaranteed to make you groan. Why aren't koalas actually bears? Why aren't koalas actually bears? They don't have the koalifications. Koalifications. Koalas actually aren't bears, they're marsupials. So there you go, a joke and a bonus fact of the day. Uh, as we get to the middle of the week, I, I just hope you continue to, to, to do your very, very best um, to always remember um, how blessed we are to be part of this community. Um, and I know sometimes we have challenges and struggles, um, but it's always important to look for the silver lining in those challenges and struggles. Try to find what message does God want me to, to learn through this struggle. So I think you know that's a, a great thing for all of us to remember, um, especially during these days when, when life is certainly anything but normal. Um, let's have a great day today, and always remember to work hard and be Christ.